Today we are going to be just doing a normal vlog style and we are gonna go over some of the stuff that the kids have been working on and some of the math or the math program that we use, we are gonna be talking about. And then um, we're gonna do some other stuff today that we have to get done. But for right now, I'm just gonna talk to the kids and go over some of the stuff that um, we kind of talked about um, a while in one of my other uh, homeschool videos. So we're just gonna talk about that right now and go over some of the stuff. So I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can um, see what we're all talking about. So I got everything down here on my notes from last time where I talked to the kids about. And we went over some goals that we wanted to reach by the end of January. Did you remember that? So it's like January what? I go, I go to lift up my phone. <laughs> January 30th, I think. No, 29th. So we have a couple more days to achieve. So let's go over some of them. Uh, Declan had words and numbers, ABCs, ABCs, read and name. So we went over most of these with um, him and he is able to, we pulled out some reading books and he was able to read one of his books on his own now. So that was one of his accomplishments. Um, some of the older kids have been doing work, uh, like flashcards with the little ones. So we've been trying to do that almost every day. So that's going good. That's some of the goals with the little ones. And Nash was actually able to write his name without me writing it down. So that was one an another goal that we wanted to achieve. Um, as for Eli, it was writing and address. Um, every day they have to do some kind of writing in their language arts. And what other one did you have that you have writing in? Oh yeah, language rights, language arts and writing so he has to do that pretty much throughout the month we are going to be changing move you this way we are going to be changing out um his language arts to a different english him and uh this where are you there uh hudson are going to change out theirs we're just going to switch it we already threw out the other book and we're going to switch their english to something else just because I didn't like how that uh, curriculum was going. So it was just something that I ordered that I want to try different and it's not working. So we're gonna do something different. Okay, so as for address, we kind of um, didn't really keep up with that one. So we gotta figure that out. But I said by the end of the month, if we can reach some of our goals, then we would go do some, get some ice cream or go get a treat. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And Miles had name, address, read, and writing. Um, we ended, I know, but we had to get a new cursive book, so that we ordered him. Um, address, we, like I said, we kind of been skimping on that one. Uh, and reading, he always has to read, so every day he has reading. So that, just don't do that right now. Um, and Gage was writing, address, spelling, math, and his goal was to get done with his math book by the end of the month, and he ended up getting done a couple days after we did our last video. So he's done with that, and he's moved on, and I'll be going over that with you guys, what he did. So that's what um, I wanted to go over for goals for that, and we'll set more goals next time in another video of what we want to do in February, but we just want to focus on January right now. Um, I'm going to go over the math with you guys on what we use for math, and then um, just uh, something little with uh, the twins and Declan, something, give them something to work on while I talk to you guys. So let's go in the kitchen. I'm gonna get everything set up and do that with you guys. I just have to get everybody's math out, line it up, and then go over what we use. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, 
while I have the kids working on the stuff that they are supposed to be working on, um, I got Nash and Lachlan some dry erase boards at the Dollar Tree. I do go to the Dollar Tree quite a bit to get their stuff just because they always have stuff there. I did get Declan a uh, dot to dot book from Hobby Lobby yeah. and this is Bible, Bible based. And then it also has verses and stuff up there that he can work on. And I'll show you what else I got. I got some other stuff here. Oh, so I did get some name tags for them to write their names on. So they would write their name on and then it would stand up next to them so they can practice writing their name. That's another thing. So everything that I got here is from the dollar store. Most of it anyways. Um, here is a writing practice book that I got from there. So it has the letters and then words, some more words. And then it has, let's see ones. that it had numbers and stuff in here. Oh yeah, here we go. So that's numbers. So I like doing this just because they like to just kind of work in books and they get done pretty quick and then I need to just go buy more. And if I were using a regular curriculum for them, it would get kind of pricey. So we just do that for them. Um, Declan is in first grade and we do different stuff with him. We don't do the cheapy stuff. So um, I also found this, it is cursive and manuscript um, like, things that you can hang up for them to be able to look at. So I'm gonna hang that up. And on my school board over there, I do have the alphabet up so they can look there too. Um, another thing that I got at, this is at Hobby Lobby, is my Bible coloring book. And I figured this is something that I can work on with Declan and the twins. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. You read them a verse, and it's by week and then I think I would just sit down and color the picture with them and then um, this could be our Bible study together is reading this and then coloring it and then the book will be you know something that we can share together at the end or forever and put our name in and stuff and then this is just something we can have um, all colored and stuff so I thought that was cute it was only $8.99 and I used my 40% off. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, and it does have different sections in there. Let's see. History, prophets, writings, New Testament. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. So that's what they have in there. So I love that book. That's going to be a a fun one to work on with them but i want to go over the math with you so i have lined out all the math that my kids are working on so we got declan with primer beta is miles hudson is working on gamma and delta is e eli and then we have zeta over here which is gauges um and i put down a list of how they go in order so primer would be like a kindergarten age <coughs> and then up so um they don't go by grade um so you kind of got to follow by name no. primer alpha beta gamma delta epsilon uh, Zeta, pre-algebra, and then algebra one and two, geometry, pre-calculus, pre and calculus. Um, we've never did the calculus or pre-calculus in this uh, curriculum. So I'm gonna see if we can work on that this year. And then one of Gage's <laughs> other math that he's gonna be working on for um, like, I don't know, right now he's a freshman, so it's gonna be later. He'll be working on consumer math and stuff like that. So that's gonna be another one that we're gonna be adding on. I don't have that out today because I just wanted to talk about math you see. So I'm gonna go over Declan's first and some of the stuff that you will be able to do with his book. 
for little kids that are just starting out. It does come with a CD, so they're able to follow along a teacher that is able to teach them. We usually don't use a lot of the CDs in the beginning just because I'm able to work with them on most of the stuff up to um, around Gage's age and up. So we just, um, I only have a couple CDs um, for some of these. I have Alpha, Pre-Algebra, and Zeta. So Gage is on Zeta right now, and that's the one that he can look back on if he needs to follow along. Some of these you can purchase an answer book. Some of them do not come with an answer book. So the only book that we have answer books for are the book that Gage just got finished with. So that would go right in the middle here. And then the Zeta we have the answer book for. Everything else I'm pretty much able to go along with them. Um, so I'm going to start with Declan's because... His, it, okay, so with Matthew C, how it works is you're able to have hands-on um, and then the visual and then the writing part. So what that means is when they first start out in their book, they're going to have blocks here and they are able to, I have a whole bin here of, this is something that you purchase separately for the curriculum. Another thing with the curriculum too is when you order your books, you get the, the student book and then you get a test book and then that's it. And then you can order the next, uh, the next one up is the answer book and I think the CD is with it. So everything, some stuff is separate. And pricing wise, I think it's like $50 or so per book. Um, I would have to look back at that, but that's what I, I'm thinking that it is. Okay, so I'm going to go over the blocks with you. Uh, okay, so this is what he would do. He would put these blocks on here, and then he would be able to count the blocks. So one, two, and then he needs to circle. So that's one part of the curriculum. After they get past the counting with the blocks, they're going to start doing a more visual when it has pictures, and then he has to count the pictures. So Nash and Lachlan, even though they're not in kindergarten yet, I'm pretty sure they would be able to work on this. Um, so Declan is obviously further in the book, so we are past the majority of that. Now here's another visual. So he would have to put six blocks down and then to know to circle the number six. The further you get in the book, um, he needs to do some shading in. So it says shade or color the square to show the correct number. So he would have to shade in one and then knowing that it's number one, and then he can look at eight, and then he can shade it in. You could always make it fun for them and give them any kind of color or special pens to make it more interesting. Um, here's another thing with their, um, with their book. It says, how many rectangles are gray? So then he would have to count, and then he would have to circle. The more and more you get into the book, I just want to show you guys something else with the book. This is another um, importance of these blocks. So with these blocks, um, he needs to follow what they have here. So it's 109. He needs to take out his 100 block. So this is 100 block. This equals one of them. And then there is no... Uh, 10 spot and there are nine ones so he would be able to take out nine little blocks to give him a hundred and and one so that's another way to use the blocks um another way is to okay so he has a three block and then another three block. You can add that together. And then he would get, or, oh, that's not it. Which one is the, 
There we go. And there's the six box. So this is another way for them to visually work on their work. Um, that's why it is called Matthew C. It's just a couple different steps for the kids to comprehend what they're working on. Um, I know Declan's over here telling me he finished. Did you color on both sides? So you have the flaming bush, and then yeah, you have... Oh, that's okay. So you color that. We'll hang that up. That's part of your work. Um, we're just going to work on that for right now while Mama talks. Okay. So he is... Um, now he just has to fill in the empty spots of what is missing the good thing that i like about these books is every single child of mine has been able to pull out their math book and work on it i haven't had to do a lot with them um they are i don't know if it's just my kids or what it is but they're able to just compre comprehend a lot of what's in these books it's very base i don't want to say basic but um there's not a lot on the pages for them to kind of get overwhelmed. Uh, so they can do multiple pages if they want to in a day. That's that's totally fine. So this is this is what Declan's working on, and I will get to where he is now. Uh, did you you worked on it today, right? Yeah. So they do have dot to dot in here too. Mm -hmm. so. so with this, is they're gonna end up. I'll show you what the next book looks like, um, and then you'll see how it goes from each book. Oh, you know what? We don't have Alpha because you have Beta. Okay, so we don't have Alpha because uh, Miles is already past that, so I can't give you a reference on that. And he'll be working on clocks and learning how to tell time. Another thing with the clocks is in the back of the book, it gives you a big pull-out clock, and we are able to work on that with him. And then in the CD, um, the guy goes over how to tell time also. So that's pretty cool. I can't go over the alpha with you because I don't have alpha. Um, can you go put that away okay. since we're done with that one? Okay, so this is Miles's. Miles is working on addition. So in the beginning of the book is just your basic addition, and then they have fun little activities for math in there um did you rip out some of your pages already i think i did okay no, I didn't. No, I didn't. okay so i don't know what i was looking at. oh you get an owie you want some oh my kids like to stack these and we also have some other different uh little counting no i want you guys to stay on there keep working on your letters okay so sometimes no no do you want us to keep going? Okay. Here's Lachlan's letters that he he worked on. You did a very good job. And then Nash worked on his, and you did a good job. Except for I think you got kind of tired out on the bottom there, and you kind of did some scribbles. So I think you did, you guys did can you really, again? really. You can do it again, or you can write your name if you know how. Okay, so the further... Um, <laughs> Oh, that one doesn't go on there. Here. That doesn't go on there. This goes on there. You want some of them? Okay. So if you have little ones in the house, you can just tie out some... Or, yeah, I can't even talk. You can bring out some of this stuff for them to play with, and they think that they're doing the same as the big kids. <laughs> yep, that's how you do it. You did a picture? Yeah, three stick band going camping, and that's a berry bush. Nice. That's cute. Okay, so then they start tying in money in the book. Um, harder adding some more pictures. Um, and in in all honesty, I think um, Hudson, or this is Miles's, I think he could actually be in the next book. Um this seems a little too easy, I think, for for what he's doing. So um, he's just going to finish up this book, though, this year and then uh, get some new stuff. So it gets a little bit harder. He also has repeat of clocks, um, more addition. And then I'm going to skip ahead here. Oh, he's got graphs. He's got um, learning and temperature. He's got more money. 
learning how to add and subtract money, um, days of the month, how to determine that. They have a lot of story problems in their math books. Pretty much on every lesson, they have a story problem at the end. So um, the good thing with this is they, they work on a certain, certain sub or a certain, how do I say that? A certain um, idea of what they're working on, and then it slowly changes into a new one, but they keep it all tied together. So that's Miles's. Now we're working on Hudson's. So his goes from, he already tore half of his book apart. So they would go from this book to this book and give some of the same stuff from this book, tie it into this book, and now he's doing multiplication. So they also have fun stuff in here with multiplication, um, learning what divides into what, and then how to skip count, how to multiply. They have some graphs in here with story problems, uh, and then um, perimeters, yards, gallons, pints. They have all that in here. And then, let's see, more, more multiplication, different ways to multiply. So they show them both ways. Uh, let's see, let's go in the back here. So harder ways to multiply. Um, and then some more story problems, some more puzzles. And let's see, I want to get to the end because I want to see if they tie in. Oh, they have like just you know, repeat stuff. No, not right now. And then um, shapes and stuff like that. So that is um, Hudson's book. So that is Gamma. And then Eli is in the next book. So he is Delta. And he is doing division. So he is, let's see how far we're hoping to have his book. That could be another goal we can work on is to ha get him done faster too. So he has um, still has a little bit of addition in there. He has some finding the area of a shape, um, dividing, different ways to divide. Let's see. More division. Uh more division, different ways, a lot of story problems. No. Okay, you need L O C H. You need an H. Do you know what an H is? No. Right here. This one. H. So L O C H. That's stuck in there, Evelyn. Okay, so his is just pretty much all finding the area. And then um, he could also use, it says use blocks to complete each problem. So he could also bring out the blocks and start using the blocks again in Delta. Um, Gage finished the next book so that I don't have. That was the book that I was telling you guys about. And then you need another L, Lachlan. So you need another L, maybe, yep, and then A N, A a little A, oh, no, that's backwards. I know I'm done. Right here, A, you did your name? No, no, I don't want to. Why? Why am I coming to the wrong one? So. Lachlan. Ah! I did a circle. I did a circle. Okay, do a circle. Ah! Shh. No, you don't get that. No. And then, here, let me help you. I'm done. So you would do your L, your, here. I'm done, Mama. Okay, shh. Yeah. Okay. And then you need an Ooh. N. I have to go put this somewhere. Um, right here. N. 
So I'll line down and over. One of Gage's books, sorry, Zeta. And in here, he's doing square roots when he first started. Um, in the other book that he had before was all fractions. So now he's going to be working on um, the square root. And then I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit and Okay, so he is doing story problems also. And then it gets a little tougher and tougher as he goes. And then he can just watch um, the CD and go along with what the guy is teaching. If I'm not able to sit down with him, he can uh, fall back on doing that. Adding with decimals, um, some more square roots, and then um, adding with decimals some more over there. Um, subtracting with decimals, some more story problems with money. Um, and then fill in the blank with the correct base unit. So there's a lot of that in there. Um, let's see, there's some graphs. Uh, let's see. Oh, multiplicating with um, decimals. And then um, doing a chart with kilo unit, hecto unit, deca unit. So all of that in there. And dividing with decimals. So the whole book gives you a pretty good uh, range of uh, new things to learn um, with decimals and um, fract or not fractions in this one, but um, square root of things. Okay, so he probably won't finish up with his book because he just started this uh, and it's in January right now. So he probably won't finish up. And that's okay because that's what we end up doing is just either working on it through um, the summer or we will do it uh, next year and finish it up next year. So that is a little glimpse of what we've been doing with math. I don't do anything with Nash and Lachlan yet for math just because they are little yet and we just haven't done anything but I could probably pull out or get another primer book and work on that with them um so that's pretty much it that's something that a lot of these guys can work on on their own and um pull out and do that's why I like Matthew C is it's pretty self um taught and then um we've used other curriculums before hold on Nash wants me to Look at his name that he wrote. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. But he, um, here, I'll just show you quick because he, he wants me to show you. So Nash, can you see it, Nash? Can you see yes. your name? <laughs> okay, so he finished up with that. So with the math, we've tried other curriculum before and we just, yes, you can go play now. We've tried other math and we just didn't like it. It seemed, the one that we, I don't want to put the name out there just because um, it's a good curriculum. I, it, it's really good. It's just not fitting for our family and where we're at. I think if I had less kids, I would be able to sit with them and work on it with them. Um, it's just, I don't want to say it's more advanced in any way. It's just crammed, crammed, packed on each page. It's just full of stuff. And I feel like it didn't... The kids couldn't focus on what was being taught on the page. So we just didn't feel like it was fitting for our family at this time. So um, we love Matthew C. It is a little bit of a pricier curriculum um, for math, but that's okay because um, there's ways around it. You could take apart your book and put it in binder. My sister-in-law does that. Um, so they just have to write in a notebook and then that saves money. So if you guys are looking into like a math program or anything like that, you could do that. You just tear your whole book apart and then, um, work on it that way in a separate notebook and that might help also. So little, um, 
a way to save on money if you're looking if you have multiple kids that are going to be using the books um I don't mind them just working in the book. It's kind of easier for us. I don't mind that. Uh, it would probably save us some money yearly on them books, but I go cheaper in other ways in some of the other curriculum that we do. So it kind of weighs out on us purchasing them. So it's not that big of a deal. And we have school co-ops and different things that people sell books and are able to um, sell some of it so you can get for cheaper if you're looking for another route that way um, what else just hoping I give you guys all the information that I want for um, math but there's still some of the kids are still doing school and waiting me waiting for me to go over some stuff Declan with being able to read the last book I need to pull him out a new book and work on a new book with him and then I wanted to go over uh, a Instapot recipe with you guys that we're going to be making shortly today. I told you guys I was going to try to um, tie that in with some of our vlog style videos. Um, and it's going to, I'm hoping that it's going to be a yummy one. I don't know if my kids are going to eat it, but I'm excited for it. So that's all that matters, I guess. But, um, they'll try it. I know they'll try it. It's just if they're going to like it or whatever. So that's both that the kids have, two of the kids have youth group tonight. My husband brings them to that and that's what's going to be happening tonight. And then tomorrow we kind of have a little, um, day off with, um, I have some family coming over tomorrow, so we're going to be having a skip out day tomorrow, which is, that's totally fine. So, okay, well, I'm going to get started and getting these guys finished up with school, and then I will show you the recipe that we have going on. So hopefully you guys like this style of vlogging. I like to be able to hang out with you guys and communicate with you guys more and more of a one-on-one -on -one with you guys than just making some uh, cooking videos. I know a lot of you guys are enjoying them too. So, but come back for Friday because Friday we'll have an air fryer video. I'm already prepping in for that one. So, uh, can I go with Miles? Can you give this to Miles? Can I? Can I? They always want to go upstairs. Can I? They're not, not supposed to go upstairs. Oh, and today is haircut day. Haircut day. Can you, can I give it to My her? My kids like it when I sing. Can I give it to Do her? Do you like it when I sing? Can I, <laughs> can I give it to him? I never put it on. Okay. That's another thing I gotta do. I was thinking that I was done. I forgot about haircuts. That's a lot of haircuts. So we'll see. We'll see what I get done. But I'm going to show you what Lachlan's working on. So Lachlan went ahead and did another roll of his ABCs. You did an amazing job. You did so good. Papa's going to like it. Do you think so? Oh, you got to fix the W. All right. Okay, so that's what they're done with their, their stuff today. So they worked on that. And then I have some other stuff that they can work on too, but... And the, these guys are over here building with the yeah, natural sea black. Yes, but you just need I to try share. to make a log cabin. Nice. Just need it's one. Kind of like a yeah, Minecraft, and right, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so they're gonna work on that. I'm gonna figure out if I'm gonna do haircuts or in Instapot recipe. Probably Instapot recipe. In Minecraft, you have to build. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with making the recipe that I have today. It's just a easy taco uh, soup, like a chicken taco soup. So I have Gage, he's gonna be helping me with showing you guys what we need to do to get started with everything. So I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see. Okay, so I, ha I have everything here, what we're going to be using. So that's okay, the kids are just gonna make noise in the background. Um, we have a can of chicken breast, whole corn, um, diced tomatoes, rotel, package of taco dip, and then black beans. 
Um, you can use any kind of chicken you want. If you want to just use chicken breast in there, then you would go ahead and saute your chicken. So you would put it on um, saute. Anyways, so you would saute your chicken and then put all everything on top after that. But that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to be adding everything to the Instant Pot and then I will show you how to get that started and the temp and everything that you need to put it on. Um, so I'm going to show Gage what needs to be done and then we're going to get started. So he's going to help by, I have some things opened already. So I have these opened and I have my black beans rinsed and drained. So it's just more or less like a dump and go kind of meal. So we're going to get started. I'll have Gage help do that um he is going to um hold on one second he's gonna add the diced tomatoes and the rotel in you do not need to drain it so it's just gonna look like that and then he's gonna do that and we are going to add the corn and it says mostly drained so just drain out a little bit okay so that should be pretty good and then just dump that all in okay that's good the corn or the black beans you can use any beans that you would like. If you want chili beans or anything, this is just what the recipe calls for. He is going to add the chicken, so you're going to open that and then just kind of drain it out a little bit. Have you ever, ever opened one of them before? The chicken? I don't know if you have. And then just drain it out like you did the... Evelyn over here is playing with her little bell set with some water. I gave her some water to play with. All right, so Gage is just gonna dump that right in. It asks for a pound of chicken, but we're just gonna use one can. Do you wanna put some more water in there? He's just gonna give her some more water quick. Okay, and then for the seasoning, Gage is going to dump the taco pack in here and then add one fourth cup of water. And with your Instapot, you always have to have um, water in there so you don't burn. And there is enough with the tomatoes and stuff. And when that starts breaking down, that should be good. And then just a little bit of water with that. That should also be good enough. You don't need to add any extra water. Okay. So he's just gonna dump that all over the. Okay, so there's that's how that should look. And then I'm just gonna go over this really quick. In the back here has a little drain cup. Um, see how there's like, that's really nasty actually. So you're going to want to clean that out every time that you cook. You don't want that to sit in there. And that's just from when you guys, um, goes right on the back here. That's for when you put your cover on everything or the condensation gets all in there. So that's just where that goes. That's that. I'm going to turn this around. We are going to put our cover on we're gonna no you don't need to because it kind of just goes all together um a lot of the instapots have either pressure cook or manual and i am going to just put it on um pressure cook and we are going to cook it for 20 minutes and that's all it needs now, if you're doing uh, regular chicken breast, then, and you don't want it on warm, 
Uh, if you're doing regular chicken breast, you're going to want to cook it a little bit longer depending on if it's frozen or not. So maybe like 25 minutes should be good. So I'm just going to cook that down and after 20 minutes we'll come back and see how that turns out. I forgot to mention to make sure you guys need to make sure that your valve is on sealing and then we'll come back and I will talk to you guys about the venting part. So always make sure when you're doing your Instapot that you have it on sealing when you first start cooking it and then we'll come back. button up here is still up. I'm gonna do a quick release on here and all you have to do is push that over like that. And you're gonna wanna have it in an area where it can um, vent out. So I'm just gonna turn it so that it doesn't go underneath our cabinet. Let that go until it's finished and you're gonna be looking for this to go all the way down. You don't want to open up your cover. It's just like a pressure cooker. So you want this to go all the way down before it's safe for you to take off your cover. So I'm going to let that do its thing and I'll come back. So the button is down and we are safe to open it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can just put your cover on one of the side areas. And that is what it looks like. So I'm gonna give it a good stir. So it's really hot, so you wanna be careful. You can see the chicken pieces and stuff in there. And I'm going to put some cheese right on top and then you are able to put cheese like in your bowl or whatever too, so. But that is that, and that was quick and easy. I'm just gonna serve some up and put some in a bowl quick. Hopefully you guys like this video today. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't for, forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully you guys are liking the vlog style that we've been doing. I want to be able to hang out with you guys more and do a little bit more with that. Um, other than that guys, I'll see you in the next one.